more than 600 tornadoes for the month of April in the United States, breaking all previous records. Survivors and rescuers combed through destroyed towns and neighborhoods on Thursday, looking for belongings and victims after at least 164 tornadoes ripped through the south in just one day, which is the usual average for the whole month of April. The death toll continued to climb in Alabama, and at least 280 people in six states perished, with some 1,100 injured in the deadliest outbreak ever. People in hard-hit Alabama surveyed flattened, debris-strewn neighborhoods and told of pulling bodies from rubble after the storms passed. We have neighborhoods that have been basically removed from the map, Tuscaloosa Mayor Walter Maddox said after surveying his city. It happened so fast it was unbelievable, said Jerry Stewart, a 63-year-old retired firefighter who was picking through the remains of his son's home in Pleasant Grove, a suburb of Birmingham. They said the storm was in Tuscaloosa and it would be here in 15 minutes. And before I knew it, it was here. He and his wife, along with their daughter and two grandchildren, survived by hiding under their front porch. Friends who did the same didn't make it. Stewart said he pulled out the bodies of two neighbors whose home was ripped off its foundation. May the Lord rest their souls. Samantha Nail surveyed the damage in the blue-collar subdivision of Pleasant Grove, where hers was the only home still intact. The storm slammed heavy pickup trucks into ditches and obliterated tidy brick houses, leaving behind a mess of mattresses, electronics, and children's toys scattered across a grassy plain where dozens and dozens used to live. We were in the bathroom, holding on to each other and holding on to dear life, Nail said. If it wasn't for our concrete walls, our home would be gone like the rest of them. The death toll in Alabama jumped to at least 194, Governor Robert Bentley said Thursday afternoon. The confirmed death toll Thursday morning had been 162, with as many as one million people without power in Alabama. Bentley said 2,000 National Guard troops had been activated and were helping to search devastated areas for people still missing. The National Weather Service and forecasters did a good job of alerting people, he added, but there is only so much that could be done to deal with mega tornadoes at least a mile wide, and which some say had a track of over 370 miles long, which is another new record. You cannot prepare against an F5, the most powerful category on a scale for measuring wind intensity, Bentley said. President Barack Obama said he had spoken with Bentley and approved his request for emergency federal assistance. Obama is planning to visit Alabama on Friday. We will stand with you as you rebuild, Obama said in a message to victims from the White House. Five other southern states reported fatalities as well. 33 in Tennessee, 33 in Mississippi, 14 in Georgia, 5 in Virginia, and 1 in Kentucky. The average tornado is on the ground for a couple of miles, measures a couple hundred yards wide, and packs top winds of 100 miles per hour, said Harold Brooks, a research meteorologist at the U.S. Storm Prediction Center. He said most reasonably built structures can withstand storms like those, but the ones that hit Wednesday appeared much stronger. There's a pretty good chance some of these were a mile wide on the ground for tens and tens of miles at wind speeds over 200 miles per hour. Well, that's obviously a bigger problem, he said. The massive fierce storm system spread destruction from Texas to New York where dozens of roads were flooded or washed out. The governors of Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia each issued emergency declarations for parts of their states, and the severe weather was continuing Thursday. The National Weather Service was issuing short-lived tornado warnings, advising people to take cover now as the twisters formed. By early Thursday, these had been sent out for parts of New York, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. 
New Jersey saw heavy rain and high winds before the storm blew out to sea. In parts of Arkansas, they have received over 20 inches of rain in just a few days. The NWS Storm Prediction Center said it had received 165 tornado reports around the south in just one day. One of the hardest hit areas was Tuscaloosa, a city of more than 83,000 and home to the University of Alabama. There were at least 36 fatalities as a mile-wide twister tore through the town. When I looked back, I just saw trees and stuff coming by, said Mike Witt, a resident intern at DCH Regional Medical Center in Tuscaloosa, who ran from the hospital's parking deck when the wind started swirling and he heard a roar. On Thursday morning, he walked through the neighborhood next to the hospital, home to a mix of students and others, looking at dozens and dozens of homes without roofs. Household items were scattered all over the ground. A drum, running shoes, insulation, towels, and a shampoo bottle. Streets were impassable. The pavement strewn with trees, pieces of houses and buildings, and vehicles with the windows blown out. The hospital had seen at least 600 storm victims through Thursday morning, and some 100 had to be omitted because the city's emergency management building was destroyed. Authorities were using Bryant-Denny Stadium at the University of Alabama as a command post. Around Tuscaloosa, traffic was snarled by downed trees and power lines, and some drivers abandoned their cars in medians. Alabama also saw the shutdown of a nuclear power plant that lost power in the storms. The Browns Ferry nuclear power plant, one of the biggest in the country, will be down for days and possibly weeks, but the backup power systems worked as designed to prevent a partial meltdown like the disaster in Japan. The massive storms came on the heels of another system that killed at least 10 people in Arkansas and one in Mississippi earlier this week. Less than two weeks earlier, a smaller batch of twisters raced through Alabama, touching off warning sirens, damaging businesses, and downing power lines in Tuscaloosa. But there had been no fatalities then. And again, these were extremely massive tornadoes like never seen before. And there seems to be something unusual going on with the weather all around the world. There's never been this many tornadoes in recorded history in the United States, not in one month or one day. The weather seems to be becoming more and more volatile. And this too is another sign of the times, the end times transition days, which is a continuing process of happenings, changes, and events. Mark chapter 13, verse 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. 8. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. Matthew chapter 24 verse 19 And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give nurse in those days. 20 I pray ye, but your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. 21 For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Yes, the time has come for all prophecy to be fulfilled. Watch the weather changes. Everything is connected, and everything is numbered.